I don't believe five Americans in a hundred knew he was paralyzed. I think if it had been absolutely common knowledge, it would have been very difficult to elect him. The country just simply didn't perceive Roosevelt as being handicapped. And they would look and they just would not see what they were seeing. The people wanted him to be president, he wanted to be president. There was this, this little matter of being crippled in the way. The president was always performing. He was performing before crowds, before visitors of state, the Congress, and so forth, but also for his family and everyone else. When he met Orson Welles, he said, Orson, you and I are the two best actors in America. And he was right. You know, he was right. For large crowds, they would build a ramp for the car. So the car would come into the stadiums, drive up on the ramp, and then the president, still seated, would address the public. And they had the braces painted black, and, uh, even though they were shiny steel. Uh, he wore black shoes, black socks, black trousers, black trousers cut long, uh, so that the braces all but disappeared if you weren't looking closely. Most of the pictures you see of him, he's either standing up, and if you look carefully, he's holding on to somebody's arm, or he's sitting in a chair. And very few pictures of him in a wheelchair. Now, this was not a, exactly a conspiracy, but it was a conspiracy of consent between photographers and the White House, something that could never exist today.